what is going on everybody we're back on a dragon ball dima episode two um episode one was pretty great even just from not even you don't even have to talk about the storytelling um including the demon world that was actually kind of nice but just to see the remastered reanimated dragon ball z scenes that they put in there you know the boo saga and some stuff like that that alone was enough to make that episode one great loved and then not even just the animation that they used for the you know old boo shots the animation throughout the entire episode was great and i'm pretty sure like as a consensus we can pretty much say you know the last dragon ball content that we got was with super the the art and animation is just so hit or miss throughout like when they had to turn up and it's ultra instinct time or it's you know um jiren versus whoever whether that be Goku or Vegeta versus Toe, but like just all these, when it was time to like dial it, they dialed it. But just from the story as a whole, the art animation of Super is pretty rough. So I'm curious if they just did that for like a one-off episode, or are we going to be able to hold that standard? Um, Cause you can get past the first episode, maybe even the first couple episodes with just art and animation alone. Um, but let's see what the, quality of the content is um storytelling wise like again i haven't seen i've never seen a gt and isn't that the one that they're small for a bit too as well so this is my first time being exposed to this i guess concept that dragon ball has gone for so let's see if the story can uh match the the visuals let's see what we got Yeah, what happened to the other two wishes? Uh He says I've never seen you before. You only get one. Does it matter though? Can't super ultra master Piccolo back there not just snap his fingers and almighty push them back to him, back to their location and unstone them and just redo it again? For another wish and redo it again for another wish can that not be done or what i don't know the limitations on spam using it like that okay like, you didn't get your three wishes in one go but can we not just do it again to get two and three bro krillin you're small too Hit. The Kai's too. <laughs> Skip. I'm out of there. All right, and we're back in. Damn. Can't they just re? Yeah, exactly. Can we not just do that again? Yeah. Can't. Ah, he said even he can't do that. Hmm. Is he telling the truth with that? Oh my god. Dende and fucking Popo as well. What are we gonna do? Kill him? Yo, fellow, uh. He can't kill a kid, can he? Oh. Look at Popo with the horns and shit. Smushed his ass. Now I'm curious if Super Namekian right there really can't do it again. Or he's just saying, like, I, not even I can do that again, just because he doesn't want to give him everything that he wants. Like, he already did this enough. Um, so. Maybe he is, or maybe he isn't. I don't know if he can really do that or not. It 
they they still have their like teenage consciousness and shit. That's crazy. Yeah, because that was my question. I was like, can you can you guys not just spam that same thing you just did a couple more times to get all the wishes you want? Super Namekian says no. Oh shit. Satan. Oh, Satan. <laughs> Satan was so much older than them. He looks older here. Krillin, are you good? Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm out of here, buddy. Fuck off. Whoa. It's because he hasn't practiced flight in that body, or what? Can you... Transmission or not? Nah? Look at Roshi! Holy shit! Man's over here almost in his prime and shit, looking like One Punch Man. Quickly, who was all coming? Let's go. Can Popo even speak, bro? Oh my god, he's just up here solo as kidnapped. Someone that looked like you. Kai, you putting it together, buddy? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Break it down for us. That's where you came from? How does someone go from the demon realm to being essentially a quote-unquote, like, god protector type? How, how do you go from demon world to god earth protector? Supreme Kai to demon world. Piccolo, you know who that is? Who remained in the demon realm alone to protect the demon realm dragon balls. Correct. Alright, Popo's filled in all the gaps. We have the info. They do need to save Dende. I mean, surely if, the, if they could travel into real realm, human realm, whatever you want to call it, then you've got to be able to get in there. Brink? Yep. I was say, if they can get in and, and if they can transfer. Oh, shit. If they can come and go, surely we can come and go. Are we now? Are we going to have a guards and a checkpoint and shit like they had to go through or what? I mean, surely it still works, or how else are we going to get over there? Hmm. You can't fly, buddy. You 
Yo, someone grab this dude before he just falls to earth and dies. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> oh my god, man, it's got a nosebleed and shit. Are we halfway, truly? Now we gotta train all over again. Uh, we're about halfway. Who's the babysitter? It's so wild that Bulma even has the genius to fix things that she's probably never come across on in her realm. I mean, granted, she does have crazy tech and everything in her world, in her timeline. Um... Ten days. Can't you guys go in the hyperbolic time chamber for that long? Come back out, be fully locked in. Hmm. Okay, look at him throwing hands up there a little bit. But have we ever really, if we're really thinking about it, there's never really been any crazy alien tech that's much different from like the tech and spaceships that we use. Like even when Frieza comes in on his stuff, is it really that much more advanced or that much different than the stuff that Bulma flies around in and Capsule Corps and shit? They, nothing looks too out of the ordinary. The only thing that's looked like semi not calculable at all is Wiss's Rubik's Cube uh, transparent see through teleport machine. So maybe it's not that outlandish for Bulma to be able to fix things. Chamber, 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 chamber. Their feet don't touch the ground. Okay, not everyone, but everyone. Many Majin. Only those that are granted permission. Who still keeps those in power that grant the permission, if not the Demon King ruler himself? Man, just getting used as a Uber right now. There's no need to explain. Nimbus. Does he just hit? Was he keeping that shit in the closet? Like, oh, he's got his power pole. Roshi has it.
Probably should take the Nimbus. I mean... <laughs> he just looks like Saitama. No bullshit. Just with a little bit thicker eyebrows. Yeah, bro. You do what you gotta do. You got my power pole. Out there drawing off your clothes, man. The turtle. Holy food. Did he get it? He did. Don't fuck up the food. Purple extend. Nice. And the animation looks so good for all of that. That's true. Bulma was there for the day ones. She was there for day one power pole, day one Nimbus, all of it. That's crazy to think. Correct. Kibito's had enough. He's had enough. So he's never been... Namics don't... Namics don't like to be ruled. What the fuck is that? Hello? We're on high alert here, boys. You can't just... Someone on a spaceship. Can I help you? You think it's his sister, maybe? That's the only person I think it could be. We are in no fighting shape either, by the way. It's gotta be the sister, has to be, has to be. Let's blast it now. Yeah, it's her. Oh no, it's his son! Or whoever that is. Got the pointy ears. Whose voice actor is this? Is that Mr. Is that Mr. Himself? Oh shit, he wants us to take them out. He wants us to fuck them up. And he was watching the videos. So he knows how strong we are because he must have been watching the videos in the back. <sighs> he can't do it alone. Look how small he is. He saw him on the 
Good God tube. The king of the third demon world. Oh. The third demon world? Mm. Are you invited? Vegeta, Piccolo, come on. Yeah, Leia, let me take a peek at your ship real quick. If it goes through space, is it a spaceship? Correct. If something goes on water, is it a boat? Yeah, he wasn't surprised. And he also was like, hey, I need you to defeat them. And he thinks like we're able to defeat them in our current state. You really forget how smart and much of a genius Bulma is. She really is kind of cracked. Uh, do they look like they're the size of normal people? <laughs> Oh, they're going to leave us off to the side. How are we going to get there? We need somebody. Well, they'll get there. Maybe they'll show up in a perfect moment of time when it looks like we're about to get our shit bashed in. Vegeta will show up and help us. And we're out. Assuming that's the episode. Yep. I liked the, uh... Seeing him at the power pole was pretty dope. Yeah, man was going crazy with that power pole. Yeah, he's pretty cracked. Um, not a bad episode. Solid, solid. Um... Preferred episode one, just because, I mean, it's episode one, what can you do? Um, and with all the, there we go, take that off, with all the remastered shots and seeing some of that again, it's hard to really compete with that as of right now. Um, but we knew after episode one, that was essentially going to be the premise, is we, we've got to turn ourselves back, we, we're going to have to go there, or we're going we're gonna to have the showdown fight at some point. Um, I think the only question right now, after two episodes is can we trust um the attack titan over here <laughs> and that is going to be tbd it's a it's 50 50 right now i think it's hard to lean one direction or the other um if i had to put money on it i would say no but then at the same time we also did see him kind of like creeping on them in the demon realm so maybe he has something against them or would like to see them fall eh. It's tough to see what side he's really down to ride for, or what he truly wants, but it's it's so early. Um, we'll see. I'm assuming Vegeta, Piccolo. I'm curious if Bulma actually goes, or just kind of puts in data points for us to fly the ship to. Is it even guaranteed that we can even get in with the ship? Because we saw what it took for them to get out to come into this realm. And at least going back... Goku and the Supreme Kai have the kid that probably knows access points, passwords, whatever you need to get in. So what is it that Vegeta and Piccolo are going to know if it requires that much information? Who knows? I'm sure they'll end up getting in and we'll, um, we'll go from there. Appreciate it, everybody. Like, share, subscribe, and as always, 